Hey, I'm Jazz, and I'm going to take you through Five Gears. It's a great book by Steve Cockrum and Jeremy Kubitschek. Um, and also, it's a really interesting way of looking at how to handle your to-do list. Now, for me, I gave up a to-do list years ago because I never got it done and it caused me a lot of stress. What I do write are to-be lists or to-feel lists. So I write down, how do I want to feel at the end of this meeting, at the end of this day, at the end of this job? And I'm very rarely do I write bitter, twisted, angry, knackered because I don't want to feel like that. And how I structure my to-do side of the to-be is by using this, five gears. So there are five different gears that you can spend time in. I'm going to take you through each of them. And as I'm going through, I want you to think about where do you spend most of your time? First gear is fifth gear, that's focus mode. That's when you're completely zoned in on what you're doing. You're writing or you're creating something or you're putting something together, but you're completely zoned in on it, no distractions. Often if it's outside of work, it could be something you enjoy like reading or I don't know, making sourdough bread, but you get really engrossed in it and time just seems to fly. You lift your head up and four hours have gone by. Focus mode. The next gear is fourth gear, and that's task mode. That's when you're multitasking, when you're doing quite a lot of stuff at the same time. So it could be that we're doing emails and then someone asks a question, the phone goes, uh, one of my kids comes in and wants to know where the Jaffa cakes are. All these things are happening and we're giving our attention to everything and everyone. If you imagine if your energy is a finite source, because big news it is, a finite source um, in any one day, and you can direct the energy out from that central point to lots of different ways, but you're, you're not going to get a very long way away from the energy from yourself. Whereas if your energy is here and you do one direction, one force, that's focus mode, all your energy traveling in one, one direction. Whereas this is task mode, lots of things happening all at once. And a lot of people kind of in this mode talk about, you know, it, there's a bit of an abdication feel of, well, I have to because everything's happening at the same time. It's You only find freedom when you take some responsibility around what you choose to do. More on that later. The third gear is social mode. Oh, I love social mode. Social mode is the times when you're kind of just relaxed. You're chatting with people. You might be in a group. You might be out to dinner. You might be in a meeting, but the meeting hasn't started or the meeting's finished and you kind of finish talking about it. But it's social conversation. It's kind of casual connection where you just chat, chewing the fat, really. Social mode is an interesting one because you can go up into task mode and down into connect mode very, very quickly. Second gear is connect mode. This is critical for existence. I mean, all of these are, but this one in particular. Connect mode is where you have a quite a deep conversation with someone where you can be personally authentic and professionally vulnerable. And in that conversation, it might be that you, sh you share with a colleague, actually, you're the swan. You know, you're paddling like mad underneath and it's quite exhausting. It might be that you're, you're able to suddenly really make a strong connection in a way that you wouldn't usually do in kind of casual talk. You, you, you have this sort of connection, this conversation, and at the end of it, you're like, wow. Now, this could be at work. This could be in, in a conversation with one of your children. This could be a conversation with your partner or with a friend, but it's a real human connection. The first gear is recharge mode. Now, however you recharge, recharge, because recharge mode is different for different people. I'm a little bit more extrovert than introvert, so my recharge is to have a chat with people or jump on a Zoom or activity. That's how I like to recharge. My husband is very much an eye leader. He's very introverted as a, as a leader, as a person. He will recharge by, I don't know what he does, looking out the window. <laughs> He'll like watch football, listen to a podcast, just sit quiet, quietly and reflect. It, it's not how I recharge, but it is how he recharges. So however it is that you recharge, some time dedicated in that gear will be useful. There's a sixth gear, that's reverse. That's when you've been an idiot and you need to say sorry. We don't spend enough time there. We visit very quick and get back into fourth and off we go. But that's quite a useful gear to have. Imagine a car without a reverse gear. So where do you spend most of your time is one question to think about. For a lot of us, it's fourth gear. Now imagine having a car and driving it in fourth gear from the moment you get in it to when you park. Your car's going to be knackered. And it's the same with humans. It's the same with leaders. It's the same with us. Where do you never spend time? Where do you find it hard to be? Because if you don't spend any time in recharge, then how do you expect to ever give in any other mode? If you spend all of your time in focus mode and not in connect, then what happens to your relationships? It, it's a really interesting tool to kind of plan your day or your week to get some rhythm and flow that you're happy with. 
I know that I like to get out of bed and get into, often I have to get into fourth gear, but I like to get out of bed, do what I'm doing, exercise, have a cup of tea, and then get straight into fifth gear. I like the morning to just focus for like half an hour. If I just focus, then I, I do my, my gears throughout the day. So you can use this as a tool to plan how you're gonna structure a life set up on your terms for the work-life balance not to be a trauma, but to be something that you are investing in so that you can be the leader that you're destined to be and call others up into an autonomous leadership mindset. Or you could just spend your whole time in fourth gear and burn out, your choice. <laughs> I hope that's been useful. If it has, then please join me. If you look up my head, there are lots of resources available on my website. And if you go and join the VIP library, you can get a whole host of free ones. I look forward to seeing you there.